Welcome again to another exhilarating episode of Future Forward, the show where we take you through all the things that UJ has been doing in pushing the 4IR conversation. In today's episode, it is indeed an electrifying one as we are going to be giving you coverage of UJ's electric bus. The buses are the latest innovation at UJ's ongoing efforts at going green. It is part of the Institute's ongoing plans to reduce carbon emissions. That is, of course, in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In this episode, we are going to be talking to Dr. Marubini Silutangi to learn more about this amazing step that UJ has taken to a greener society. Hello Future Forward peeps, I'm finally in the electric bus of UJ and I'm joined by the Director of Logistics, Dr. Martin. Dr. Martin, welcome to the show. Thanks to having me in your show. Yes sir. This bus is really stunning. Is there any other institution having such a bus, electric bus? No, uh, according to our knowledge, we are the first in the Sub-Saharan Africa and Africa as a whole. Yes. Quite impressive, quite impressive. What made us to be the first institution? Why is this bus so important or this transition? Um, we are the institution of fourth industrial revolution, um, driven by innovations. So we, we looked at a inter, there's a, a international issue of a carbon emission. So we looked at our vehicles. Our vehicles at the University of Johannesburg contribute around 40% of the carbon emission at the entire institution. So one of the, the, the tasks given to us was uh, how do we go and decarbonize and decrease this uh, carbon emission? So we bring along this new child as you see here. And this new child is indeed amazing. And it is quite impressive that it's aligning to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals as indeed. well. Indeed. Yes. So, but then contextualizing that, us having this bus, um, we are a country, of course, suffering from load shedding amongst other things. It is an electric bus. How do we go about it? How does it work in terms of charging? How far does it go? Um, the, the, it takes five hours to charge the entire full 12 batteries. And then we can get anything between 300 and 350 kilometers. So as uh, you can see, some of our parking lots, they have got the solar systems. Those solar systems, these buses will be charged through those solar systems. We also even have uh, dreams of going beyond the solar systems, where we in will at some stage in the future, we'll introduce the hydrogen gas, which is even safe and non-flammable um, to, to actually run this fleet. As our, our mission is to, decarb to, to, to decarbonize our fleet, our total entire fleet. So given right now, uh, I, I believe we have two buses as it stands. Uh, what is the long-term plan? Are we planning to increase these buses? And w what is the plan that we have? Uh, our vision is to uh, deflate the entire uh, fleet, uh, entire diesel bus um, and, and, and transit to, 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 to electric bus uh, latest by 2025-2026. It, it also depends on the financial muscle of the institution because this thing that comes sometimes costing. And the, the, the number of students, is it still equal to the buses that we're having? Is it to, the capacities are still the same? It's still the it's same. It's still the same, okay. The same. And I can imagine, as you're saying, that the distance that it travels in one charge, it can travel to all our campuses. In a day. Look, normally, one of the, we're running this contract on, with the 15 buses. Normally, a normal bus will do 210. So you can have the entire bus for the whole day without charging. Then it will charge in the afternoon with using the solar system when the bus are parked on the table in the depot. Wow, that is indeed amazing. So it is looking beautiful and it is functioning as beautiful as it looks. So who is accessing it right now? Who are able to, to, to who is it transporting uh, uh, These buses are meant for inter-campus bus service for the University of Johannesburg amongst the four beautiful campuses. So it, it caters for our students and our employees. 
So, Dr. Martin, I think it's an electric bus and there are concerns of safety. What measures are in place to ensure that students are safe in these buses? No, these are one of the most uh, safetyest bus. If you see on top, there's a coolant, water coolants on top. Those water coolants on top are designed to cool down the batteries. So, after certain kilometers, they automatically it switch itself on to cool down the batteries. Um, we haven't had such because, you know, these buses mostly are, are done or are running in it in China. So we haven't seen in such a way whereby they, there is an explosion of a batteries and such. It's, it's very nice to, to be concerned of those, but there are safety measures within the buses. You can see there's a fire extinguisher even in the front as the legislation permits us to have one in the, in the bus, but um, the coolants on top of the truck, uh, on the top of the bus, they are the best. And also adding to that, I see the surveillance in the bus. Um, how does that help the safety of the students losing yes. their package and everything? Um, so these buses, as they move up and down, we're also looking at these cameras to look at the safety of our students. And, and it might be the issue of students to students or and, uh, somebody outside to the students. So we have to have these cameras to monitor the safety. True, indeed, indeed. And I'm sure now a student can be able that if your luggage is lost or something is lost, there's something to refer back to. Yes. Because uh, you see, when you say you want to offer to your students, efficient, effective, reliable. Uh, you need also to compromise the issue of safety as well, to align with those what I've just said. So we bring these kind of elements within the buses so that the students are safe to move from one campus to another. So doctor, um, now in terms of the bus itself, the electric bus is different from a diesel bus, even the sound itself. So what has been your reception towards that? Um, indeed, that is that you are t you are t talking the truth. Um, the electric bus are silenced because they're using electrical motor. The diesel bus is using the engine; it's a normal engine um, uh, where you have got your pistol and all the stuff. Yeah. So there is a bit of an um, uh, not a bit, but there is a difference in terms of sound. So these buses, what need to happen? We need to install the the, the sound system, which will be connected to the electric motor. As you rev the bus, then it will make this, the noise. That will do it to cut up people with disabilities uh, within our students so that they could hear, they could sense when the bus moves. Wow. Yes. Okay. So we're just waiting for the mechanism is ordered from Germany. The shipment is already been dispatched. The supplier who designed the bus has confirmed that uh, within a couple of weeks from now on, this, this is, the, the, the item will be here. Hmm. That is quite impressive to, to cater as well, to say that this is for the students and we cater for the uh, disabled students as well. Another thing, so with the camera, it's also innovative and it's around security. What other innovative things are within the bus? We have got a charging uh, points for our students so that they can be able to, you know, some students, they get in class through the, um, uh, 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 what you call these, the uh, dashboards and stuff. So they can be able to make sure that their phones are on at all times. We've got charging system in the, in the entire, enti entire bus, as you see here, yes. under these uh, silver uh, uh, items. Yes. So, so our, in future, we intend even to, to install Wi-Fi so that our kids will remain mobile. You know, they are, are uh, in the, the, uh, when they're in mobile, they remain connected. So we, we try to meet what the, the world is, it, it is today. Yes. So that's all, all some of the things that we are initiating into these buses. Wow. And also, Doc, we see this button here for stop. Uh... Uh, this is uh, done for the driver uh, so that he can hear when the student wants to stop or there's some crisis in the, in the bus. Then we can just buzz the stop. Then it will clock in the dashboard there of the driver. Then the driver will be aware that there is a crisis in the back or somebody has to get off. Even though the buses are designed to stop campus to campus, yes. there might be some unforeseen circumstances that might lead for a bus to stop at that particular point. Wow. That is indeed quite impressive. And it also all aligns, given that the cameras are also looking at everything. When students are charging their phones, you can also see that no one has lost the items that they were charging. And in terms of an emergency, you can always be able not to scream, but to yes. press the button and it seems. Yeah. Um, well, it, it is, it's been quite an, uh, an informative interview. Thank you so much, Dr. Martin. Thanks. And there you have it, guys. This is the electric bus and we're gonna be getting more in the future. After hearing all that about buses, we definitely had to take a ride. We hopped in the bus and we found out what students were thinking about this initiative. Let's take a look. Uh, 
It was exciting, it was a very comfortable ride. My name is Tad, doing LLP. Uh, it was an, an amazing experience ever. It was, my, it was for the first time riding, yes. Um, I'm very impressed, firstly. Um, it was quite smooth, very impressed, yeah. I'm also very impressed. The trip was quite smooth. The bus is clean, it's nice, and yeah, it's lovely. Very convenient, because you can hold on to something while standing. My name is uh, Abram Snyders. I'm the Senior Director for Infrastructure Development and Logistics at University of Johannesburg. So we've just had a wonderful bus ride, uh, Abram, on the Eagle. Tell us how did UJ get into getting these two buses? As part of uh, UJ's contribution to the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, it is embarked on a number of projects. Amongst them is uh, in terms of e-mobility, we are doing this EV bus uh, project and introduced two EV buses into our fleet of 15 buses and this is part of the e-mobility part of the sustainable goals. Then on the other hand, uh, we're also looking at other projects like solar PV. Please tell us a bit more about the solar PV because also one of the big questions that keep coming up is how we charge the buses and I know the solar PV is a big part of the buses. Please tell us a bit more. Yeah, so we have uh, solar PV installations on all our campuses. We also uh, committed to uh, increase the solar PV installations on the campuses and, um, and it's also part of our reducing our carbon footprint. And the solar PV installation does not directly charge the bus, but it does uh, indirectly uh, allow us to, to offset the, 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 the cost that we would have uh, used to, to charge the bus from the normal grid. So we do have obviously a saving, financial savings, and that makes the charging of the bus a, a, a much cheaper. And how many EV buses did the university buy? We have uh, already purchased two EV buses. We all, we're in the p process of purchasing another bus. And then we'll also uh, obviously uh, defleet the other existing diesel buses. Uh, my name is Tinashe Nyambi from My Power Electric Buses. I'm the technical and operations manager. Uh, the relationship between My Power and UJ it began, began when uh, like us, my power, uh, we are actually into green energy. Um, so uh, I'm sure uh, UJ is also more into green energy as well. So that's when we actually got the relationship between the two of us. Uh, so uh, basically this bus, um, after a fully charge, it can only take about 1.05 kilowatt per hour per kilometer. So um, yeah, you can actually calculate how much is your your kilowatt per hour in terms of energy, then you can see how much we use, basically. It's actually 100% uh, electric uh, bus. So it's being driven by a DC motor uh, and the batteries. So basically that's how it is 100%. Uh, was indeed an electrifying bus ride in UJ's electric bus. Sadly, we have come to the end of the ride for this episode, but please do catch us on the next one. The name of the show is Future Forward on UJ TV. And my name is Bongani Mube, the young man feeling like Pico because he's breaking the mental shackles. Catch you on the next one. University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.